to Brain Surge, the show where you need a great memory and super concentration skills. Today's show is chock full of fantasticness, starting with our brainiacs. Let's meet them. Oscar is a mathlete who loves dirt bike riding. Victoria is a triple threat in volleyball, football, and skateboarding. Kaylee likes to surf and make her own clothes, but can she sew her own wetsuit? Patch is field goal oriented and wants to be a professional football player. Joey once dressed as a girl for Halloween. Now that's scary. And Vanessa is as green as slime. She loves the environment. One of you is going home a brain search champion today. Plus, you're going to have your chance at thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming that's going to cover you from head to toe. As for the rest of you, there is only one way out of here, and that is down the brain drain. Yeah. Woo! I am ready. My pulse is racing. How about you guys? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm going to go head over to the brain center so we can get started. Let's go. Level one. This first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. You're going to use that special game pod you got right in front of you to lock in your answers. At the end of this level, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to level two. I'm ready to kick this off with a ten-point puzzle. How about you guys? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Here it comes. Pay close attention. Last night, I had a dream about sheep. Count how many sheep jumped over the fence. How many sheep jumped over the fence? Hey, Vanessa, what's the craziest thing you've ever dreamt about? Probably meeting the Jonas Brothers. Meeting the Jonas yeah. Brothers. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is. <sighs> ah! <laughs> correct answer was six. Let's see who got it right. Oh, everybody got it right. That's ten points to everybody's score. And we are off and running. And here comes the second puzzle. It's worth 20 points. We're in between classes. The kids are getting their books. Check out which locker does not get open. Which locker did not get opened? Let's see what the correct answer is. There it is, it's four. Who got this one right? Everybody got this one right. Oh boy. We have a game on our hands. And this next puzzle's worth 30 points. Let's see if it shakes anyone up. I had some time on my hands the other day, so I moseyed on over to the cattle ranch. But just as I was about to pet a cow, I accidentally sat on a hot branding iron. <laughs> Much better. So, what does the brand on my butt look like? Joey, how you feeling about this one? Awesome. You feeling really good about it? Yeah. I mean, like, super good? I think. <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, oh it was number one. Woo. Let's see who got it right. It was Joey. That's what I'm talking about. Show us that face, Joey. Yeah. All right. With that, Joey jumps into the lead with 60 points, and everybody else is tied for second with 30 points. All right, here's the next puzzle, and it is worth 40 points. My dentist just gave me a shiny new grill. I'm going to smile three times. As soon as you can identify the number on my teeth, enter it on your game pod. If you think you got this answer right, Give me the old thousand watt smile to the camera. <laughs> there it is. All right, everybody but Joey. Joey's feeling a little, little unsure again. Let's see what the correct answer is. 
four seven six four. Very nice. Let's see who got it right. Oh, everybody but Oscar. This one's worth 50 points. Take a look. Take a look at this school of fish and quickly count how many fish there are. were in that school. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, we had to count all of them, and there were 14. Let's see who got it right. Victoria and Vanessa, give yourself 50 points, courtesy me. Okay. This right here is our last puzzle. After this, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to the next level, and the other two of you, you're going down the brain drain. This puzzle right here is worth 100 points, so pay close attention. It's anybody's game. Roll it! One of me is about to eat a bowl of cherries. Keep track of where he lands. In which position did the cherry-eating Jeff land? Cherries are a great source of vitamins, plus they give me gas. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. There he is. Cherry-eating Jeff, four. Let's see who's getting 100 points. Oscar, Pat, Vanessa, and Joey, well done. It's time to find out which four of you are moving on to level two and which two of you are going down the brain drain. In first place with 220 points is Vanessa. Coming in in second place with 200 points is Joey. In third place with 170 points is Patch. All right, there's three players left and only one more slot. In fourth place, with 130 points, is Oscar. Congratulations, you're moving on. Victoria and Kaylee, you guys played a great game. And before we send you down the brain drain, let's find out what you've won. Congratulations, you've won iCarly and Naked Brothers Band DVD. iCarly Season 1, Volume 1, and the Naked Brothers Band Season 1. All that and a bucket of slime. There is only one way out of here, and it is down the good old brain drain. Kaylee, Victoria, you guys ready? Yeah! Come on down. Here comes Kaylee screaming all the way there, and she's out of here. See you later. When we come back, we'll see if these four brainiacs can put their massive minds to the test on level two. Don't go anywhere. Still, Jeff, congratulations to these four brainiacs for making it to this level. Nice job, guys. What do you say we uh, get to know you guys a little better? How's that sound? <laughs> Vanessa, tell me about your environmental activities. Uh, I'm very environmentally friendly. I'm not part of any club or group, but I make sure that everyone's recycling and saving water and saving trees and stuff. Fantastic. Well done. Nice. Joey, you dressed as a girl for Halloween. How did that come about? I bet my mom 20 bucks. Uh huh. And if I lost, I had to dress up as a girl. And, well, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> and the turnout of that bet ended with you as a girl. All right, yep. fantastic. Patch, tell me about your name, Patch. Is that your real name or is that a nickname? Uh, Patch is my nickname. I just picked it up at the hospital when I was born. Okay. You can call it since birth. I, you picked it up at the hospital, so you, your, your hands were working fine and everything. Yeah. You just All right, what's your real name? Patrick. All right, very nice. Oscar. Okay. There's a lot of buzz backstage about your beatboxing abilities. Yeah. Care to give us a little taste? Okay. All right. Uh-oh. If 
If he doesn't stop soon, it's going to be a dance party in here. Nice job, Oscar. Well done. Enough chit chat. Let's get to the gameplay. Level two. On this level, I'm going to read you a story from my big book of truth. On your feet, everybody, it's story time. Pay attention to this story I'm going to read you because at the end I'm going to ask you some questions, all right? And remember, everything I read out of this book is the truth. <laughs> I love extreme sports, but safety first. I always wear a second helmet to protect my first helmet when I go rollerblading. I also use extra ropes when I go mountain climbing. And when I'm surfing, I put on my water wings. I'm such a thrill seeker, I even take regular sports to the max. For example, I compete in extreme bowling with 50 pound balls. I play extreme dodgeball using 50 balls. And I only enjoy extreme miniature golf, of course, using a real windmill. My friends are into paintball, but I don't get the appeal. I also don't get fencing. I think it's tiring. So I decided to make up my own extreme sports, like ice skateboarding and the surprisingly popular banjo jumping. And of course, ski diving. My favorite extreme sport of all is brain drain bobsledding. When it becomes an Olympic event, I'm poised to take the gold. That's my story, guys, and it's all true. All right, one at a time, I want you guys to list off an extreme sport you heard in my story. To lock in your answer, you're going to have a seat. When you hear this, that means you're right. And when you hear this, Joey, if you could please demonstrate by sitting down. Uh-oh, hang on for the ride. That's a one-way ticket to the brain drain. On your feet, Joey. Here we go. Vanessa, we'll start with you. Name one extreme sport from my story. Extreme bowling. Extreme bowling. Very nice. Joey. Extreme mountain climbing, I think. Have a seat. You got it. Hatch, how about it? Surfing. Surfing. We're going to give it to you. Awesome. Oscar. Ski diving. Ski diving. Very good. You got it. Vanessa, back to you. Extreme dodgeball. Extreme dodgeball? There it is. Joey, over to you. Doing this means he's recalling. Ski diving. Ski diving. Oh, Joey, hang on. I did do some ski diving, but Oscar had said that earlier. Patch. Extreme miniature golf. Extreme miniature golf. There it is. Oscar. Surfing. Surfing. Oh, hang on. We have actually already heard surfing as an answer, and that's why Oscar's heading over to the brain drain. Vanessa, catch! Guess what? It's time for a knockout round! Knockout round! All right, I'm gonna pump this up a little. Behind these numbers are pairs of images from the story you just heard. Match a pair correctly and you stay in the game. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to look at the board and memorize it. That 10 seconds starts right now. Time is up. Did you guys get a good look? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Vanessa, what's your first number? Um, nine. Nine is her first number. And? Eleven. Eleven. You got yourself a match. It's over the patch. Two. Two. And ten. And ten. Patch gets the match. And it's over to Vanessa. One. One. Twelve. And twelve. There it is. The pressure's on patch. Six. Six. Fourteen. And fourteen. You got it. Vanessa. Four. Four. And thirteen. And thirteen. Oh, okay. We have entered sudden death territory. The next correct match is going to go home a brain surge champion and move on to the next level. Patch, what's your first number? 16. 16. If you get this right, you're a champion. Five. And five. Oh, not a match. It's over to Vanessa. Next correct answer wins. What's your first number? Seven. Seven. It comes down to this pick right here. And... 
five. And five. Oh, no. It's back to Pat. She could steal it here. Sixteen. Sixteen. Seven. And seven. Pat gets the last Yorkland Rangers champion. Congratulations. Vanessa, you played a great game, but you know what has to happen now. Sit and hold. She has thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming from head to toe. Let's see what Joey, Oscar, and Vanessa won for making it this far. Congratulations! You won a pair of Rollerblade Inline Skates. Genuine Rollerblade brand gives you a comfortable fit with a graduated heel brake for controlled skating. These skates adjust up to four sizes, so it grows as you grow. Rollerblade, the original inline skate. When we come back, we'll see if Patch can find the path to victory on level three, the final stage. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Brain Search. I'm Jeff. This guy right here, Mr. Handsome, this is Patch. He has cleared the first two levels and has the title champion. How do you feel about that? Pretty good. You feeling pretty good? You ready for this? Yes. You ready for this craziness? Yes. All right, because you're about to play the final stage where you could win thousands of dollars in prizes, plus a sliming you're never going to forget. Level three, the final stage. All right, Patch, on this level, there are three parts. Each one's more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the light pattern that appears on the floor and then recreate it by stepping on the right square. For example, if you step on the right one, it's going to light up like that. If you step on the wrong one, that's going to happen. You're going to have to come right back here and start all over. Once you complete the first path, you're going to stop the clock by stepping on that orange button right up there. All right? Once you do that, this floor is going to open up to the 5x5 five five grid where the second path will be revealed. Complete that path and you'll be faced with the hardest path of them all, the 6x6 six six grid. But you can win this. Complete the 4x4 four four and win a jukebox. Play your favorite music on Crosley Radio's iJuke Jukebox with iPod Dock. iJuke Jukebox from Crosley Retro Electronics. Complete the 5x5 five 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 and win a Diamondback bike. The new Diamondback Outlook and Lester One. These 21 speed sport recreational mountain bikes handle both trails and pavement from Diamondback. Complete the 6x6 six six and go to Universal Studios. Get the newly renovated Sheraton Universal Hotel. The outdoor beat of cool restaurant and pet friendly accommodation. Plus complimentary tram rides to explore Universal Studios Hollywood. Woo! Okay, this is it. I left my 90 seconds backstage. You got an extra on you? I got it. Okay, cool. Thank you. Appreciate that. Just toss up on the board. Boom. There it is. Pay attention. Here's your first path. All right, you're going to see it a second time. Now, the clock is going to start when you make your first step, okay? You, okay. you loose? You loose? Yes. All right, I don't want you to pull any muscles. Go ahead. He's off. Okay, take a look. You're going to see it again. You got it? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Okay. He's got it. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Up there. Boom. There it is. Just like that, Patch. I hope you have a big trunk on your car because you're going home with a jukebox. This one's for the bike. Take a look. Here it is. Okay, you're going to see it a second time. All right, clock's gonna start again when you make your first step. 75 seconds. He's off. He's off. All right, take a look. All right, I think he saw where he went wrong. He's eager to get back out there. All right, here it is again. Oh, he's very close. He was very close on that last one.
Jukebox and the bike, yours. You have 49 seconds left to complete this final path, which is going to get you the trip to Universal, but more importantly, the sliming. Take a look at this one, Patch. All right, here it is again. All right, 49 seconds. Do it up. He's off. He can use a little help, guys. All right, here you go. All right, Patch, do it up. He's got, he's going. Making a nice move. Take a look. You got yourself 25 seconds. You're doing all right. Get about halfway there. Go for it. You got 10 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one last time. so well. You got yourself a new jukebox. You got yourself a bike. How great is that? Awesome. It is awesome. I am so psyched for you. Okay. You know as well as I do that there's only one way out of here though, right? It's down the brain drain. Why don't you head on over there? I'll meet you there. Thanks for watching, guys. It's all the time we have on Brain Search tonight. Tune in next time when six new Brainiacs go head to head to head to head to head on Brain Search. Thanks for watching. Maybe in New York. Sam's email? What email? She's in jail. Oh. iCarly needs a new co-host. We're not canceling iCarly. And there's only one man for the job. Spencer! Oh, really? Hurry, take your jacket and glasses off. But I look so sophisticated. This is iCarly. You don't do sophisticated. Baby hunky. No! Oh. <laughs> don't miss I Won't Cancel the Show. Saturday night at 8. Then catch Nathan Cress on a brand new True Jackson on Nick.